Good morning, good morning, good morning, truck trappers and truck trappets. Um, I know I normally um, start my videos off on my way getting a load um, at my local gas station. Um, I would say fuel station. Shout out to, um, I can't remember your name, that just commented on um, one of my posts regarding the terms fuel and gas when you're getting diesel you are right you are so right um i think we me lupo and skeet we normally say gas up because that's really a lot uh, in, in atlanta slang we always just say gas up but um on, on our paperwork we do got fuel even when i jot down um my gas expenses throughout the week on a piece of paper to keep up with what numbers i did with, with fuel I actually write fuel down when I take my um my my fuel breaks um on the road for my ELD and my app. I actually write fuel in there, so you're so right. But for the ones that you were talking about that go to the the fuel station and end up putting gas because of the word gas fuel diesel is fuel. You're right. But if you go into the put diesel in your truck and you put gas in there by a mistake. You ain't got no business in trucking. Like your brain is not even on what you're doing <laughs> on the task at hand. But uh, I do got my folk, uh, my cub man. Shout out to Polo. He been in trucking for so long. He called me the other day. He said, "Man, you wouldn't believe what I did." I'm like, "Man, what's what going on?" He didn't put their fuel in his gas tank. When he realized it, he just went on and got it towed. He didn't crank it up, so he went on and got his gas tank. I'm like, man, how, how you do that? You know, but he said he went paying attention on the phone, and but he wasn't working though. He was just, you know, he got a lot of other things going on. It wasn't nothing to do with trucking, so uh, he didn't have to be too focused on the task at hand. But man, you can't be putting the wrong thing in the wrong thing. I have multiple cars. I know what been to use eighty seven ninety three. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Diesel out of multiple cars, but um. We'll talk y'all here off this morning. This is what we got, man. I just picked up a little light load, um, 1,200 pounds from the uh, HVAC uh, spot up here in Duluth, Georgia. Y'all always see me at. Um, it's going to Dover, Tennessee. Going to Dover, Tennessee, and um, and um, I did. It, it was to pick up today, deliver tomorrow. But I did get on the phone. That's why I say sometimes when y'all want to kind of, you know, manipulate the time, you know, you're routing and, and, and you know, mapping out when you want to get it delivered. You know, sometimes get on the phone if it got a direct number on there. So I called the dude and uh, he was more than happy to take it straight through. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to do it straight through, man, instead of making this 300 miles a two-day trip, man. I'm not doing it. So I'm going to do it straight through. He already got everything set up for me. Um... To, to get it delivered, man. I could turn around and head on back home. And of course, y'all know it's not many loads in, you know, Tennessee area, so ain't no sense of me. At this, in, at this time, at this point of time, thinking I'm finna get a backhaul or a reload. So it is what it is, man. We still truck trapping, man. Y'all see I'm ski mashed up, man. Uh, I guess I'm shice to cook this morning, man, but it's colder than a polar bear toenail. But uh, we finna get here, man. I'm gonna show y'all this little snack, man, when I pick it up at the HVAC spot, man. Uh, y'all please keep like, coming and subscribing, man. I can't say it enough, man. So get me up in the algorithm. So it is what it is, man. Shout out to my truck trappers out there, man. Shout out to my truck trappers, man. Um, the ones we still hanging in now, the ones that um, found it fit for them to do something else. They just how to just just how to cook it crumble, man. So um, sometimes some best for for somebody else ain't ain't good for you. So vice versa. So it is what it is, man. We gonna keep trying to bust some wheels up, man. Y'all know what it is. Let's gang, get it. Gang, gang. We already been on the inside. Y'all see the paper in the dam, man. Y'all don't forget, man. Paper in the dash still a whole lot of bad, man. I uh, already been on the inside. Paperwork filled out. Uh, we just had to load up that the big rig. Uh, got that burglar when he about to unload. They, you know, he got me next. So he just loaded that the big rig up, the white one, to, my, to the left of us. Uh, so my little three pieces should be getting ready to come out now. Y'all know this facility I always, I always be at. 
So, um, I don't know, man. I guess I didn't took my break early on my log. By the time I scrapped down, I didn't took my 30 minute break so I could get up the highway, find me a, um, a reasonable fuel station. <laughs> And uh, go on and top off, man, so I can go on and get this snack though. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm still. But y'all know what, though? I've been acting like I've been happy with Alicia Keys. I ain't always happy with Alicia Keys, man. We, I don't know if I did tell y'all or not. Make sure my. I ain't been bumped. I don't know if I did tell y'all or not, but uh, make sure I ain't got no. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I did tell y'all or not, but uh, look at this right here. My bad, y'all. I just see a, a scratch on my truck. I ain't even. That wasn't that wasn't there. I know I know it wasn't there. But uh she, but yeah, she's still doing a reduced engine guy. So I did call the text back down at Ford man and told him and you know they kinda I kinda know how to make it not do it. You know, um my a dry it's a certain drying pattern you can do, but it's just too much money for this not to be, you know, so it's still going to reduce, man. So um that fuel regul fuel regulator, whatever thing they just did, that wasn't it, gang. So if your truck doing what mine's doing, that wasn't the problem. So when I do figure out what the problem is, then I let y'all know, man. It must be my snack right there coming out, gang. Is he coming? Yes, sir. All right, so let me go on and get going, man. Get this strap down so I can get get rolling. I'll hit y'all in a minute. All right, here we go, gang. You know that was fast. <laughs> just two straps. And then on um, the paperwork did say three pieces, so I guess they counted this, these two small packages as, as one piece. So uh, make sure I keep it on the front seat so I won't forget to give it to them. When I get there, I have to take a whole free trip back, a millet, <laughs> a millet myself. But uh, that's what we got going, man. I'm gonna go find me a fuel station, man, so I can still hit on the eight ball, man. Y'all know what it is. Let's there we go, gang, gang, gang. Um, this is what we had going with this drop right here, man. Um, it came to another location in Dover, Tennessee, right around the corner, actually closer. Like I said, I contacted the guy and he wanted me to bring it here. And this dude here, he was bringing some AC units for the same guy. So they unloaded right here. So I'm gonna take his, I'm gonna take his spot. He just came to holler at me and let me know. He said, you came for Evans? Yep, same thing. So, uh. I got going on. I'm gonna jet bag into his spot. Yeah, I got it. I'm in Dover, Dover, Tennessee, man. And it is country. No disrespect to nobody from Tennessee. But man. Yeah, let me go on and get this thing unloaded, man. I got to use the restroom real bad. Yeah, so let me um back back man I get back with y'all what why he unloading gang hold tight go gang give me right man get me back bucket naked I'm giving these packages right here as well go with the AC units I'll see what's going on gang gang this is where we at man we in the back of a, a hardware store I may throw these packages on top, man. So I gotta get me something to eat, man. I'm done with y'all for the day, man. Now I actually got another load I'm picking up. Uh, it's going to South Carolina, kind of short run. Not right after this, but the next day. So catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all see what's going on. You got me drop. Let's get it. Morning, good morning, truck trappers, truck trappers. Yeah, I'm up early this morning, rocking and rolling, man. Couldn't even let the truck. Yeah, it still got a little frost on the one. I couldn't even let the truck unthaw all the way, man. I had to jump up, man. I made a call. Um, I got a load from Cartersville to Columbia, South Carolina. <coughs> from Cartersville, Georgia. Um, I've been trying to contact them since yesterday because they have me on um a 12 or 12 p.m. 
um, pickup time and um, and they want it delivered straight through. So I really wanted to be up here at least like nine o'clock instead of 12, you know, cause that was three hours I could use getting to the um, to the drop. So it may be about a four hour ride, um, 200 and some mile trip. So I did get in touch with somebody this morning um, they told me as long as I be there by such and such time because they got to go on lunch at 11. That's why y'all had me on the 12 o'clock for this man. My apology, my apology game, man. I got to do better, man. I got to see what's going on with these GoPro batteries because it wasn't in the red or orange or whatever for it about to die. So um, it just died on me, so I had to switch batteries. I got to find us some more, um, some better batteries, man. Anybody know? where GoPros have um, better life expansion, man. Let me know, man. Put it in the comment, man. I need I need some better batteries. Especially when I start getting back on that dirt on them side by side, man. Y'all see, I've been looking at those side by side, man. I got to have me one, man. You know, from the water to the earth to the ground. That's, my, that's how I like to play. But um, uh, what I was saying was, so yeah, I just had to hurry up and Get on out the house, no breakfast, and then try to get on up to Cartersville, which only should have been an hour away, but it's gonna take me an hour and a half um, in traffic. So um, I hope I get there before the guy goes on lunch, so I can get started on South Carolina and do my drop and turn around. And um, I got another load game picking up tomorrow in Union City, Georgia, um, and it's going to Birmingham, Alabama. So. I got that back to back, so I've been kind of picking up a few lows, man. The rates, you know, the rates are right. it's not, you know, not crazy, they all right, but the lows has been light, so I've been saving on gas, so I can't complain. Um, yeah, as long as it's some work, so I'm good to go, man. So y'all know what it is, I'm gonna show y'all, this is an HVAC um, unit, 4,000 pounds I'm about to pick up. I'll show y'all when I get there, man. Let's get it. Gang, 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 truck trappers and truck trappers, man. So, of course, I told y'all guys I did contact someone this morning. Um, I'm actually here. Got two guys. Y'all see those two hot shots? Two rams in front of me. Uh, dude told me the guy go on break at a certain time. Be here at 10, I mean, 9, 50, 10 o'clock. I got here like. 9.38, you know, so they, those guys, they said they've been here since 7 o'clock this morning. It's 10. So they've been sitting here since 7. One guy came from, he, he picking up in Cartersville, the guy to the left, he picking up in Cartersville, um, so he just need to go to Marietta with a little snack, man. And he just been sitting here, see these are type of facilities I don't like, and this is what I don't agree with, with that ELD law, man because we allow certain shippers and receivers that unload and load us up, you know, they, they got an effect on our drive time and our work and our money. They, like, they could call, like, these guys been here for three hours and still ain't pulled around yet, still haven't got loaded. So that's four or five hours of your time for one, and for two, that's, that's four hours gone off your ELD log that you that you got, you know, that you could drive, you could work for today before you have to shut it down. So that, that's what I don't like. So if had I known this was one of these facilities where they're not really handling business like they supposed to, like a lot of these shipping and receivers be some BS, man. So had I known that, I would have turned the load down, you know, because like I say, it, it, I'm getting a few loads. I'm grateful for that, but it's not paying for the, you know, for the headache. He's not paying enough for that. So um, I kind of hope this load don't affect my drop-off time getting to South Carolina because they do want to straight through, you know. So they wanted to pick up today and they wanted to de deliver today. So um, like I said, it may be a four-hour ride from here. Um, I haven't eaten. I could have stopped and got breakfast and everything had I knew all this was going on. So, uh, shit, man, I don't know. I know next time when I see this company on... <laughs> On again, they called me about picking up from right here. I, I'm good, man. I can't. I don't like when people, really not companies, supposed to be professional, not handling business, man. Y'all supposed to get these seven, six, seven o'clock this morning? That's crazy. So that what it is, game, man. So I guess I'ma hold tight, man. Man, shit, I'm, I'm contemplating on calling. I didn't waste my time. If it, 
I'm an hour and something from home, so that's an hour and something ride, man. I'm contemplating on turning this thing down, man. So, I don't know. I guess I'm seeking out to get some detention time, man. But on the paperwork, it, it has 12. I didn't want to be rushing, picking up at 12, trying to make a drop off four hours away, which I gotta stop and get fuel, gotta do your 30 minute break and all that. So like that, it was it was cutting it too close. I hate being in a rat race. So that's why I came on up to try to get it early where I could cruise on through, get it dropped without all the rat race anxiety feel. I don't, I don't like moving around like that. So oh, that's what it is, game man. So man, y'all see them guys. They posted, man. They said they been here since. 7 o'clock this morning, so 3 hours. So am I going to have to sit for 3 hours? Um, I proceeded to walk. thought I could walk in and sh shipping and receiving, but it's so far behind the building. They said they drove back there um, and let them know they was here. So I think I want to do the same thing. Um, Got to let these guys know I'm not going in front of them. Uh, but I'm about to drive around and try to let them know I'm here. So it is what it is, man. Y'all hold tight, man. I give y'all an update on how long and what they got going, man. I hope I ain't here three hours. I won't take this load, man. Let's get it. Yeah, gang. I told y'all, y'all will never know, man. You'll never know. Never know, man. So before I forget, man, shout out to EG Transport Service, man. Maurice, man. He looked at me. He said, man, you look for me. You got a YouTube channel? Like, yeah, there he go. Right ahead, straight ahead, man. Shout out to Mari, man. I got my memory getting low in these, um, I got to start getting these videos out this, uh, GoPro, man. So let me give y'all an update, man. So y'all see, it's four guys waiting. It's a new one to the left. Those two guys, they've been waiting since seven o'clock this morning. It's after 10. So I went around now to see what was going on. Of course, I got here before 10. And, uh, my paperwork say from 12 to 1. And I'm letting them know y'all haven't even touched the 18 wheeler that was back there. I, I got to start walking this camera, walking y'all with this camera, let y'all hear these conversations I just had with the guy in front of me, man. Shout out to Maurice, man. He be watching the channel, man. He subscribed to me. Helped me get in the algorithm. I appreciate you. But um, yeah, gang, they one of these facilities, man. They is not getting no work done. They building the AC units. Damn near as a person pull up, man. They haven't even got the AC unit ready, so this might be a load. I might have to bite the bullet. Hope I get some um detention time or truck order not used some kind of way for my gas and my little time. I got another load tomorrow, so if I can't get this in time today, I can't take it at all because I got another load pick up tomorrow that delivers in Alabama, you know. So I can't, I can't do it. So it is what it is, man. So shout out to EG. Um, transport service, Maurice, man, I appreciate you. Yeah, man, these folks from BS up here, man. I walked to the back, man, the 18 wheeler that's been sitting up here in front of these folks that's been here since seven. The 18 wheeler that was here before them haven't even touched it. They haven't even raised the garage door. So I'm like, man, hey, I got appointment time. Would y'all be able to stick to my appointment time? I got it 12 to one. He said, possibly we green tagging yours now. I got to put it on the pallet. Yours really just a drop and go. But yeah, but what about the guys that's in front of me? I don't want to feel like I'm 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 jumping in front of nobody. Like I don't, I don't want to do that. So let me know what it is. But they said they gon' they come out here and let everybody know what it is and you know what's what and who ready and what they got ready for whoever. So it is what it is, man. Uh, we are gonna see what it is, man. I'm gonna give y'all an update, man. I gotta start getting these videos out of the camera, man. My memory I almost full. I see it's in the red right now, so. Man, y'all hold tight. Yeah, my reason. See, you done pulled off, man. I've been I been back there putting that pressure on them. They called you on back. So you going to get it low, man. I'm going to slide on to his spot. Uh, slide on to your spot, my reason. Wait on them to... And he was this guy here. So um, what's going on with this? It's not even the loading. It's not... Oh, no, no, no. No copyright. I already got a couple of them on my page. So it's not even the loading process, gang. It's actually the... um the building this is where they build the ac units that they build them so these people got these orders in um i don't know if they trying to get the orders picked up too early or whatnot but y'all okay agreed okay for the um for trucks to come pick them up and get them delivered so it looked like they behind on actually building them and putting them together so they told me they got mines about to put it on a pallet 
And once they put it on the pallet, they walk out the side door and come ask who's going where and whatnot and load us up. So they got um, EG Transportation Services. My boy Maurice was right here, just leading his spot. So they called him on around. He actually only going to Marietta, like right around the corner. So, um, so I hope they going to get me on load again. I'm hungry. I know lips be chapped, everything. I be thirsty. I be skipping breakfast, lunch. Hey man, this, this this road life, man. Truck trapping. So it is what it is, man. Uh, I do want to get him a little game in front of me. Uh, what's this? Uh, is this, is it man's quality or man's quality? I can't see. That's the game I want to kind of give you. Uh, man's or man's quality? I can't see it. That's the game I want to give you. Uh, from experience. Your MC and your DOT numbers is too small. They will ticket you for that, find you for that, pull you over for that. Um, mine's is bigger, of course, but yours is way smaller. And mine's is actually a problem. They want it to be two inches, two inches. They want it to be visible for so many feet when they driving by you or whatnot. But uh, it is what it is, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all too long. I ain't got that much memory, man. I gotta start dropping it. I'm gonna start dropping back to back to back. Uh, let me get off this thing, man. You know we truck trapping everything the super set way, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. We finna bunny these wheels up, baby. Let's get it. Five hours later. Y'all know I'm 38 hot, man. They finna get ready to get me loaded, man. I'm gonna show y'all what it is. Man, me out of the bay. Never seen a company like this take more breaks than, boy, commercial breaks out of the <laughs> Looking at a football game. But yeah, man, so uh He about to get me loaded, man. I'm gonna show y'all what it is once I get loaded, man. So I get out of here, man. I've been here too long. Alright, here we go, gang. I'm taking pictures of it. Uh about to get ready to get the paperwork signed. Got the strap down, so no tarp load. I'm ready to rock and roll, man. Been here like five and a half hours, so I'll let y'all on the on the drop, man. See, can I get these folks to stay Next. <laughs> See you next morning. Ready to hit a drop off, man. Early morning. Got to get back up under that thing, man. Y'all met train. Columbia, South Carolina, the big train facility. Getting that thing dropped, man. I mean, took off my back. So early morning, man. I know what it is, man. So early bird gets the worm, Jack. Got me unloaded, man. Pull these straps up, man. We still rocking Alicia Key, rocking, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Y'all see what it is. Getting that thing readjusted. So, um. All right, appreciate it, appreciate it, man. All right. So this is what we got going, man. Um, I was kind of frustrated yesterday, y'all. Matter of fact, let me roll these straps up. I'm finna holler at y'all how this load took place and what I gotta do. Get me a little more cho-chos. Y'all hold tight. Write the in and out and email it to you. Perfect. All that right. works. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Yeah, you bet. All right. All right, gang. Um, before I get this filled out, I'm gonna tell you what went on. Um what should really go on with all truckers that sit for so long because the tension time don't start till after, you know what I'm saying, after two hours. So uh, we sitting there all day or whatnot, I'm gonna try to make it brief because I don't have that much memory. I gotta start getting, getting some of these videos out of the camera. So uh, it was guys that were sitting there six and a half hours. So if, I'm, if I have dr driven all the way to the facility and I'm sitting six and a half hours, <clears throat> it'll affect my next load have a big effect on my next load so therefore i cannot drive exceeded over 11 hours of drive time so now i'm knocked down to five hours of drive time on the eld log so i'm like it just inconvenienced my day so this load on um, particularly supposed to be a straight through load um i've been there five five hours and some so i got there kind of early um and i gotta excuse my lips this morning too uh -huh. so i got there kind of early to um make sure I got the load on a straight through, straight here, you know what I'm saying? From point A to point B, same day action. So I was there five hours and so, so therefore I wasn't able to get it here. So 
they got a thing called layover time. So if you want it straight through, same day, and I couldn't get it there because of the um, the shippers, I get paid a layover time. So now I get paid extra money for layover and extra money for detention time for sitting. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I think that should be for all drivers. That's something new for me. I never got in a layover before, guys. It's Cause um, every load you know you normally pick up, it'll be pick up this day, deliver next day. They have it on the um, you know, on the BOL. So in this case, it's my first time getting a layover. Um, layover is two fifty. So uh, so say for instance, I knew I was gonna make it here, um, eight nine o'clock last night. Say if I could have got it off last night. I wouldn't have got a layover. I didn't even want to proceed to even try to get it off last night because I wanted the layover money. I got to be here anyway, but I still got to uh, hightail it up out of here, haul ass um, back to Union City, Georgia. I got another load I need to pick up. Um, it's going to Alabama. So let me get my paperwork in, gang. Um, Y'all see I just got it here or whatnot. Um, with the layover, detention time. So I'm about to get my, I was just talking to my broker, got to get my detention time in so I can get paid for that as well. So um, I was frustrated yesterday, kind of mad. I didn't eat um, breakfast or lunch, sitting there five hours or something just to get one piece loaded. So um, I got compensated for it, man. You know, we out here on the road. Our time is valuable, time is money out here. You know, um, if I was a, uh, if I was just a, a regular employee at a job, um, I wouldn't have been mad because I'd be getting paid every hour anyway just sitting there. But by you being an owner, you're not getting paid sitting there, man. So um, I really appreciate getting compensated for that layover and detention time. <clears throat> so that's a free game for y'all, man. So let me head to my next load. I'm going to show y'all this next load once I get to Union City, Georgia. I should be just three hours away or something like that, man. So y'all hold tight, man. Y'all know we still truck trapping to the wheel fall off, baby. All right, gang, I'm here my neck drop, man. With my, with, with my gap on, man. I don't care, man. It's time to, time to work, man. I throw on anything. Man, I'm riding down the highway. I heard something, man. Something hit my windshield, y'all. Put a little crack on my windshield. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. So, um, I'm picking up this um Union City to Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, this one going home with me. Over the weekend, he brought one out. It's gonna be like ten of these, so I told him kind of put them in front of each strap. Then it'll be two more. He probably could fish in between. Um, jeez. Yeah, he gonna have to turn this another way. How they gonna work? Yeah, we got to figure this out. So he supposed to be putting some kind of say 120 inches long, um, some pipe in between. But yeah, so. I got appointment time Monday morning, Birmingham, Alabama. So, uh, that's what we got going, man. I'm, I got to see how we're going to get this thing in position, man. Because you really need to turn these pallets. got to turn. All right, gang. Let me figure this out, man. Y'all see what's going on, man. We truck trapping, man. Yeah, but, a little, but a little rub all them time, man. Here we go, gang. What we got going, man. Of course, this load, this load was a no tarp load. So looking at how this ran wrapped, wrapped around it, man, that we ain't gonna cut that clean up out there. So I'm gonna have to tarp it. I'm gonna have to tarp it, man. I'm putting big white pants on the tarp it, man. We got those metal rails in the middle. They sure go nowhere. Uh, I see, let me see, I think we got that. You say I had one more, but I don't know if this just it. Yes, sir. I can put it on, you can put it on the, on the end. Say we got, we got one more pallet. We got two more Two more. I was gonna double stack them. Uh-huh, but, but it'd be too high. higher than the other one, and then it's not gonna work when you go to strap it down. Yeah, so yeah. Gap. Well, I, we could just add one on to the end, with the metal part, on the very end, okay. on the back. We just put one back there. Okay. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, so, um, that's what we got going, man. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, put one on the end. Plenty of room. So do what we got going. I'm gonna just add one right here on the ramp, gang. Add my two-inch strap to it. So we rocking and rolling, y'all. 
Birmingham, Alabama, man. End up having a tarp be load, man, so all this ram won't be unraveling and mess falling on the spreadway and and all that. So it is what it is, man. Y'all hold tight, catch y'all at the drop off. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Here, here we go, gang. Here we go, man. Uh, before y'all judge me on this tarp game, this load was not supposed to be tarp, man. I just put my big boy draws on, beat the bullet, um, tarp the load because how they got a saran wrap, man. I ain't want pieces of stuff to be blowing off. So this the load, it was not supposed to be tarp. So I just did some extra work. Y'all know how long it take to get that tarp unrolled and bunge it down, man. Extra work for the free. Not on me. There you go, gang. Uh, yeah, I'm about to head on that, man. The thing going to Birmingham, like I said, man. I'm going to go ahead and get this paperwork, get it signed. Catch y'all on the next one, man. Let's get it. Gang, gang, good morning, good morning. So early bird get the worm, man. I'm, I'm up early trying to get this old load on to, um, to Alabama. Well, actually, I'm in Alabama now. I had to get off the highway because I seen, never seen love this cheap. Gonna be 334 you spend cash though, but y'all see it, y'all see it. Yeah, 339. Cheap as I didn't see. So uh yeah, I was gonna come to Alabama last night, sleep over, but I'm like it's only a two and a half hour ride, man. So I get up at uh four this morning to set my alarm clock. I got up at four, started running my wall to realize shit, it ain't number three o'clock Alabama time. I had another hour to lay down, gang. So that's what it is, man. Let me get a little gas. Probably get me a biscuit. Shit, man, I, I forgot. I got to get, I got to untart once I get here, man. And it's cold. I know y'all see the smoke coming out the mouth. It is what it is, man. Let me get a little gas, man, to keep rolling, man. Y'all see what it is, man. Alabama bound. Let's get it, baby. Look what we got going, gang. Actual location is an actual construction site, man. I had a hell of a ride coming in, zigzagging around all these curves, but I made it down. I see what's going on. So I'm finna get all my bungees, the tarp off. I show y'all the unload process, man. Whole time. Woo, boy, coldest. Where my finger? Fingertip pro. Y'all see what's going on, man. They about to get me unloaded. I'll see what it is. So, uh, yes, sir. Get these strap rolled up. Y'all see, I got my arm, uh, got that tarp rolled up. I had lead on the ground just to get it rolled up. So, do what we got going on, y'all. At this new apartment complex site, man. You know, you get a little, nothing wrong with getting dirty a little bit. That what it is, man. Let me get that rolled up, man. See where it's next, man. I'll tell y'all about this next load. I possibly get, but I might not. And why not? All right, gang. Looks as if they almost, they almost got me done. I've been here like, phew three hours now so i got one more pallet to go one more pallet to go and we out of here man so i've been here three hours so uh i need that detention time man just like i always say man time is money man never waste your time without the money man it wouldn't make no sense so i gotta get detention time for just sitting here for three hours man so they got one more pallet to go about to get this paperwork signed um I gotta write my in and out times on the paperwork now. Um, emailed it over to the broker, let them resend me over another confirmation rate uh, for my in and out time for my uh, detention time, man. So it is what it is, man. Let me get the last one, get the paperwork signed. Catch y'all on the next one. I can't even get out this thing, gang. Look at that. It don't look like he ready to move no time soon, man. Got people out there waiting to get in and everything. Yeah. Shit. That's all, folks.